Hey, welcome back to Woodruff Woods. Today, we're rebundling. Stick around, I'll explain why. So as I mentioned, we're rebundling today. This is one of the pallets that lovely Lisa uh, wrapped while I was um, on a business trip. I'm not sure which one at this point. But unfortunately, I have to leave tomorrow as well. And so uh, anyway, we had a complaint from them that uh, some of these bundles weren't tight enough. They were falling apart. I'll show you the picture here where they said that these bundles were falling apart. Now, if you ask me, that looks like someone was just pulling on the end of it or maybe trying to grab it by the uh, wrap and, uh, and it came apart. I can tell you trying to bring this pallet up here uh, without it being wrapped, uh, I dropped, uh, I think it was 11 bundles. You might be able to see them back there on that other pallet. And not one of them broke apart. So I think it's probably more the user error, but nonetheless, I want to make the customer happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these bundles and we're going to wrap them on the brute force and uh, see if it tightens them up a little bit. And uh, maybe we can solve our problem, make the customer more happy about the product that they're getting. So we got lovely Lisa here. She's going to help. And she's grabbing one of her bundles. And as you can see, that doesn't look too bad to me. Oh, I did a good job. But uh, apparently some of the customers thought that they weren't wrapped tight enough. Get a little closer. But you can see we ran out of labels and we were using some of these stickers that I have. And uh, you can see they faded real bad in the sunlight. So we're gonna put one of our new ones on. I showed you those in a re recent video. And uh, we're gonna try to make this look a little bit better. One, two, three. Okay, where's the label? You don't care if there's two labels? Ah, we'll do it like this. We'll cover that other label. All right, I gotta grab a, well, we'll use the pocket knife right now. Actually, that works better than the uh, Stanley knife. So let's see how that did. I think they're much tighter now. You know, it's because these bundles are um, wrapped in a different bundler, I think is what's causing this. So we're gonna... So even though this bundler has these marks in it, for the different sizes of wood, uh, you know, cubic feet wise. If I'm down here, I get a rather rectangular bundle. And we may just try that with one of these and just see what it looks like. But uh, the customer really kind of likes them squared up. So I'm thinking I might actually drill this and put little blocks of wood in here to narrow this up. I know some of the other bundlers, in particular the Twister, I know has, has another, um, rack that sits in the middle here. I actually may fab one of those as well. Uh, I'll have to see what I come up with here, but uh, I think I'm going to mount something in here to, to do that. But uh, we'll see how it turns out before I go drilling holes into the new bundler. So you can see we're kind of up to this first notch here and uh, we're going to wrap this, see what it looks like. I need a knife holder on here too. I think I'm gonna build a magnetic one that can just hang down here on the side somewhere. So we've learned a little lesson here. As you know, a few weeks ago, Lisa wrapped these and um, you know, we, we were going through them faster earlier. We hit a little bit of a rainy spell 
and people weren't buying as quickly. So these were wrapped for a couple of weeks outside. And if you look, we're getting some mold where the where the plastic was. So I think what we're gonna do in the future when we wrap these and uh, they're gonna sit for a while, we're gonna sit them in my enclosed trailer so that they don't get so damp and, and uh, develop this mold on them. We uh, ran out of our first roll of uh, wrap here. So took, took that off. Um, we're gonna show you how we put this back on. So I don't know what you got going here at least. Um, get that on like that I show you these are kind of flanged so that they fit right in there and then uh, put the spring on to tension and then we put the nut on here um, pretty straightforward um, I'll have to mess around with this tension uh, I it was kind of weird I noticed the tension got tighter as the um, as the roll got smaller so I think what I'm gonna have to do is kind of watch what I'm doing here in the beginning and uh, as as it gets smaller loosen it up a little bit actually I'll give this a couple turns with the wrench lovely Lisa tossing them up in there like crazy if you remember the video with uh, AJ from shaver equipment he had told us where to get these at uh, uh, Uline. That's where this came from. And it is much louder than the other one we had. So uh, I'll have to go watch K&L's video again on what the, the quiet stuff is. one problem we're having here today as we're wrapping these that were wrapped in another uh, bundler my my old one which was just homemade uh, they're not the right shape so we're just wrapping them to make them a little tighter now that we have the bundler we'll never have to do that again so you know we're trying to avoid rewrapping as many as we can um, like I say, we learned some lessons here, which that's what it's all about. We'll have to watch K&L's video. Mike over there did a video on, on, I think it's blown versus extruded or something. I don't really remember, but that's why I have to go watch his video again. But uh, if you have a bundler, you're noticing the difference in the sound here. And uh, it has something to do with, with how the plastic's made. So, don't really remember. We're just covering up those old labels with the new ones. So, this is a critical account for us. Um, you know, uh, this has been, this is the one that pays the bills on, on this bundler. And uh, he's the one who got me my next account. So uh, we want to do a good job for him, give him a good product. Um, we got some maple ready to go for maybe our next bundles. Uh, we're going to try that. We're going to try a bunch of different species. Wow, you can probably hardly hear me over that. I'll keep talking just to say. Wow, I can't believe how much louder that is. What's that? White. Oh, a mushroom growing in there. So we're going to take this one apart. The mushroom guy would like that. So it's actually called an oyster mushroom. Mushroom That is an edible. Um, obviously not big enough to eat, but, um, but that would be an edible mushroom. And uh, that was a pretty big bundle. Yeah. So we're going to stack this in here a little differently maybe a good time to talk about the paul bunyan show the lovely lisa will be there with me yes, I will. and uh she'll be on the live stream with shifty on friday the uh, october the 7th i'll 
I'll be handling Shibe. Yeah, she is actually Shibe's handler because we understand that uh, Sam can't make it. So, um, uh, we definitely have too much tension on this, but uh, we'll fix that here, here in just a minute. What I find is, is if you take too much of this off, it, it starts to bunch up and then it doesn't look good, good in the bundle. We got some mold in that one. Yeah. All right, lovely Lisa's gonna cut that. We're gonna change that blade in that too. That thing's, I can look sharper than that knife. I'm sure all the YouTubers agree. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. So if you haven't been to the Bunyan Show, I gotta tell you, when I went there last year, I was just surprised how large it was. And uh, it is really a good time. Um, you know, last year I think Lisa reluctantly attended, but it was my birthday, so uh, she felt she had to go. But I think in the end, she thought she had a pretty good time. Is that right? Yeah, I did. I enjoyed it. I'll probably enjoy it even more this year. So we want you to approach us. If you see us out there, come up, say hello. Um, we like meeting all of you and putting a face with the name. Uh, just makes for a better time. We got to meet a bunch of you at the uh, Firewood Frenzy, but uh, I know some of the East Coast guys couldn't make it out there to the Frenzy in Wisconsin. So we'll probably see you in Ohio. That's one of our pallets going now we'll wrap that on the outside. I'll show that process on this one. I didn't on the last one. See, at least a feather in that uh, pedal there. You know, as we're getting used to it, it's becoming easier to, to manipulate. So we got a full pallet here. Uh, my other camera went dead, so I'm using the old GoPro 7. So the audio is not quite as good on it, but that's all right. So uh, we're gonna actually move this tote here that Lisa's sleeping on, and uh, we're gonna move it out of the way, pull this pallet out just a hair so we can get around it, and we'll show you the process of wrapping this thing.
So that was a lot of extra work today, but hopefully it made our customer happy. I, I wish I would have learned that lesson before I took on such a big account, but I don't know how I would have done that. Uh, before I was just wrapping bundles as I needed them, trying to get ahead and uh, probably made a mistake there. But hey, we live and learn, right? So uh, I think this will wrap it up and we will catch you on the next one.